Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial where we're going to be working with a simple door matinee sequence um, and adding a trigger to that so that we can uh, essentially uh, go up to the door or move towards the door um, and as we approach it the door would open um, or close uh, from either way so as if to say the character was opening the door um, as he approached it okay so um, you may recognize this interior from the interior tutorial on my channel if you haven't already checked it out make sure you do that's going to give you all the knowledge to create your own interior and get that imported into Unreal I know it's very small but it'll kind of give you the building blocks to then expand uh, upon this and sort of go further really and you can do whatever you want um, okay so what I've done here, as you can see, I've created a door frame, a very simple one in fact, so you guys can spend a little bit more time uh, with it, but I've created a very simple, just a box style uh, door frame. If you want me to just quickly run you through how to do it, um, I'll do that. So let's just create it out on the side for a second. So if I just create that, there we go. We go over to the modify tab, and then we right click on uh, the box, go to editable poly. <clears throat> and then we're going to click onto polygon. We're going to click that top polygon just there. We're going to extrude that a little bit more. So we're just going to pull that aside. Let's pull that forward a little bit more. And then we're going to go ahead and extrude that across. Now, once I got to this stage, I was thinking, okay, like, first of all, it's not really accurate. Like, it should be the same. So let's do that just so it's kind of equal and then what you do is you add a symmetry and make sure you hit the plus next to symmetry go into the mirror um, and make sure you click onto mirror and that way you can actually move that across okay uh, if you can't see it then make sure you go on to flip and that will obviously make it mirror the opposite way um, but we want to go onto this side and then you of course get the right width and you get the right height to match it up with your door frame okay so simple as that the door itself was just a box right now I'm not going to worry too much about creating a really high quality box because again I can go in and do that later and I will update that uh, a little bit later so I created the box making sure there was a little gap around it I mean that's too big of a gap but I would probably keep a little gap anyway because um, again doors they're not going to cut into the actual um, door frame us it's going to look really awkward and not look very good um, the very last thing I did was to move the pivot point for the door so I went over to uh, hierarchy I went to effect pivot only uh, and then I obviously moved the pivot down to the vertex by using um, my snap toggle so if you right click on the snap toggle which is this icon here Make sure only vertex is selected on the left hand side just here. The bounding box doesn't really matter, we don't even need that to be fair. Um, and then we're going to go turn that on, you can either press the S key as well. And then when we move this pivot, it should snap to vertices just like that. So we, you basically want to place this pivot point where you want the rotation to um, be on the door. Alright, so that's where the door is going to pivot from. So if you go on to rotation now if I deselect effect pivot only you'll notice that that door now rotates in that fashion okay yes my doors too thick don't judge um, that is just a placeholder anyway like I've just shown you really quickly how to do it so that's how you do that so what's very important now is that you would actually um, if you look to the right I've got on mine the door frame and the door have been scaled down and positioned in the correct place okay that's really important you need to place them where they would go first just to ensure you've got the right scale now if all of your doorways are exactly the same size then you can just do this once and then once you export and then import the door frame and the door into the engine then you can obviously recycle those models over and over again as long as you know they're all the same doors um, if you want to know how to import this into Unreal I, if you just follow the tutorial go back to um, the interior tutorial I think it was the latest part I think it was part four that's going to give you uh, the know-how on how to actually get assets into the Unreal 4 engine okay so one thing that you must do before you export these things is you have to ensure that um, your object is in the middle of your 3 3D space so um, before you export you obviously need to select each one um, and then we'll go on the move tool and you right click on each one of these spinners down here on the X Y and Z and that's going to reset each one of those values until your object is now um, based on the pivot point um, it's going to be essentially in the middle of your 3D space as you can see in the middle of the grid and that's going to mean when you export this into uh, and import it into Unreal the pivots going to remain there if we didn't move it then what would happen is the pivot would actually be from this point 
um, which is the center of our 3D space. Okay, so make sure you do that. Uh, again, part four, I believe it was in my interior tutorial. Okay, guys, that brings this video to an end. Hopefully you've enjoyed what I've done here and you find it useful. Um, next video I'm gonna be creating is going to be covering uh, matinee sequences within Unreal Engine 4 using this door. Um, so I'm gonna be exporting it and uh, importing it into the engine. So make sure you stay tuned for that video, guys. Also, make sure you comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. Um, and also, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe and do hit that like button guys it just shows me that you appreciate the effort i put into these videos on that note guys i'll catch you next time